Hello, this is Richard Jacobs with the Finding Genius podcast, now part of the Finding Genius Foundation. I have Professor Amit Gandhi. Uh, he comes to us from the University of Wisconsin and also Microsoft. He's an applied economist specializing in industrial organization and econometrics, which I don't know what that means, but I guess it's using numbers to describe economic principles is my guess. So we're going to talk about his work. So Amit, thank you for coming. Yeah, no, thank you for having me. And uh, one small correction there is that I moved from the University of Wisconsin to uh, the University of Pennsylvania, but did used to be at the University of Wisconsin, which is a beautiful university located, of course, in Madison, Wisconsin. But uh, yeah, but, but but both excellent places. Oh, and are you now at the Wharton School of Business in Pennsylvania, or where are you? Yeah, yeah. So I have, I have an appointment both in the economics department at in the college and the uh, the marketing department at the Wharton School. So it's it's a uh, two department sort of existence. But yeah, it's it's very exciting, very exciting uh, intellectual home to be located. Well, good. So what's your research about? What are you working on? I uh, do really a lot of work at the intersection of using economics and economic principles for real world decision making. And so I'm, I'm principally interested in, in sort of bringing data structures to bear on how those decisions get made, whether it be a firm trying to figure out how to price or um, situate a product in the marketplace, or it may be a government um, agency trying to um, regulate or manage laws and policies pertaining to an industry, or it could be a consumer, a household trying to make, you know, financial and, you know, home life, work life decisions for um, the household. I think, I think in all those domains, there are economic decisions that are central and one of the exciting sort of innovations of the last you know, 15 years certainly is the fact that there is now data that exists that can be you know explicitly brought to bear to make those decisions um, work better in practice and so a lot of my research is how do you kind of hook the data into economic models and kind of connect them to the domain tr that you're trying to impact which one of those you know really depends on the decision at hand but, but that's kind of the broad swath of my research and so it really forces you know, me to bring together ideas from what is classically called econometrics. And I guess we can talk certainly more about what is the, what is the true definition of econometrics, but sort of, you know, classical econometrics, economics is, is usually kind of conceived in textbooks and taught in universities, but then a lot of this exciting progress that's being made on, you know, machine learning and artificial intelligence and, and big data systems. You talked about a lot of different topics. What in particular have you, do you feel like you've gained some unique insights into? And even if it's a very small, narrow set of behaviors, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. I think, I mean, certainly where I am, I mean, I think as I think about my arc, I sort of think about it where I was seven years ago before I joined Microsoft and then kind of the world um, since then. I think one thing that is prominent for me, at least, is the fact that in many domains, let's call it just a simple product purchase decision someone's buying a unit of, of some widget from a store, you know, when you sort of think about the deep drivers of those decisions, you know, what should it be, say, price, you know, <laughs> how much does it cost? Uh, what is the utility of that product in your overall lifestyle or your overall existence? You know, those are sort of sometimes we can think about as the deep drivers. And I think a lot of my work was really measuring the impact of those deep drivers on behavioral outcomes. And I think one thing that I've started to discover certainly more now than ever before is that the deep drivers are important, but there are many other factors that sort of don't really seem to matter from an economic prism. 